Hey guys, welcome to today's review on Raw Barrels Noble Creatine Powder. So what this is, is creatine monohydrate. This is pure creatine monohydrate powder. Um, today I'm going to be reviewing this product, but before we go into what I think about this product, I want to talk about creatine monohydrate in general. Why you should take it, um, is it safe, all that good stuff. So before I take any supplement, I look to see for one, is it safe? Is it going to be doing more harm than good in my body? You know, I want to take something that is going to help me, not hurt me in the long run especially. And two, I look for, is it effective? Because I don't want to be spending my money on something that isn't going to be effective. Am I just going to ingest it and it's going to go right through my digestive tract and, and I'm not going to get any use out of it? I want to make sure that my body is utilizing the compounds that I ingest. So yes, creatine is safe. Creatine is not associated with any life-threatening illnesses. And two, creatine is very effective. It's probably one of the most researched supplements in the market and it has been significantly shown to increase your power output and decrease your fatigue. So that means is if you increase your power output and decrease your fatigue, that means you can lift heavier and lift longer in the gym, which is what we all want, right? So before we review this product, I'm gonna talk to you guys about the molecule of creatine and just show you guys what it is exactly doing in your body and kind of debunk the fear that people may have with creatine. Um, I know some people are like, oh, am I taking some kind of steroid? Um, is it gonna be harmful to me? No, it's not. So I'm gonna show you guys what that is all about. Here is creatine. This is creatine monohydrate. Actually, I just didn't write that in, but this is what the molecule looks like. And people, for people who are worried about their them taking a steroid or something, this is what a steroid molecule looks like. This is actually testosterone, but steroids generally have this ring-like structure that you see here, and creatine looks nothing like a steroid. So if you are worried about taking creatine, they're not even closely related in terms of chemical compound makeup. So anyways, we have creatine and we have phosphate groups here, which can be a byproduct of ATP breaking down. But what happens is, is creatine, I circled this hydrogen bond here because creatine breaks this hydrogen bond and replaces it with a phosphate group to create creatine phosphate. Now, why is this important? Why is creatine phosphate important? What it does is it acts as a storage for phosphate groups for your body. So your body can, can utilize this phosphate group when it needs to. And we've all taken general biology classes and we know that ATP or adenosine triphosphate tri for three groups of phosphates. Adenosine triphosphate is associated with energy. More specifically, it's the breaking of that one phosphate bond. So you have ADP, which is adenosine diphosphate, di for two phosphate, and, this, and then you have the third phosphate group here. And the breaking of that bond, so I have a little squiggly there, the breaking of that bond is what actually creates energy. So when you break that bond, you produce energy, and then you're left with ADP, and another phosphate group, which I didn't draw in here, but you have ADP and a phosphate group, and you pr you're pretty much stuck after that. You can't, you, this molecule can't create any more energy. So what it can do is it can come up here, it can grab this phosphate group right here from creatine phosphate and regenerate ATP. So then you have more energy, you can last longer than gym, it increases your power output because you have more ATP available and uh, just benefits you overall. So all creatine is really doing is acting as a storage for phosphate to regenerate ATP and uh, keep you lasting longer in the gym. All right, so now I'm on examine.com. If you don't know about it, then I highly suggest you just go on there and, and look up supplements. Um, it's a very reliable resource. It's where I find most of my resource on um, any kind of supplement. Um, so yeah, here we have creatine mono, monohydrate. So if you scroll all the way down, it has all these studies on the, the supplement. So um, it has a grade here. This grade, you want the grade uh, to be highest in terms of level of evidence. So if you see this full pyramid, that means there is a ton of research that suggests that this supplement is associated with this effect. So. You see it's strongly associated with muscle creatine content. What that means is your body is absorbing creatine. It's not just 
you're not just eating, drinking the creatine and it's just coming straight out of your pee or your poo. Your, your body is actually absorbing that molecule and it's going into your muscle, which is a good thing, which is what you want. You want something that your body is going to be utilizing. So next here we have um, creatine is strongly associated with power output. You can see the research um, significantly correlates. There's 66 studies in total. If you wanted to look at those, you could click this and look at them. Um, if you really want to make sure that you're taking the right thing, I, I really suggest you read these studies. And yeah, so creatine is associated with power output. Another important thing it can do is notably decrease your fatigue. So that means you can perform better in the gym, you can last longer. So those are just a few things that I wanted to bring up. Um, basically showing the level of evidence for why I'm saying creatine does these things and just showing you guys that I'm not just making this up or I'm not getting paid to say creatine does these things. There are tons of studies here that show that creatine really does do these things. Okay, so finally we are getting to the actual product that I'm gonna be reviewing in today's um, video, which is the Noble Creatine Powder by Raw Barrel. It is $29.77 for, one -time, for a one-time purchase or it is uh, $28.28 if you do a uh, subscribe and save. You only get this on Amazon. So it comes with the 2977 is one day free Prime shipping, if you're a Prime member, of course, um, which I think the majority of people are Amazon Prime members. But yeah, so you get one day free shipping. It, this, this whole tub is 500 grams, so that means you get 100 servings of five grams per scoop. And you do get a scoop in there, which is really nice. So this is micronized creatine monohydrate. What micronized means is it's just broken down smaller, so it's easier to mix in water and easier to digest. Um, I don't really recommend you taking any kind of creatine by itself with water. Unless it's a pill form, then maybe, which they do sell pill forms, Raw Barrel sells pill forms. Another great thing about buying again from them, I guess, would be you get to use that 25% um, discount code and then you can also get a free bottle of BCA tablets, which is 40 servings per container and which is three, serving, three pills per serving and that's 1500 milligrams of leucine and then 750 milligrams of isoleucine and valine. So it's the standard two to one one ratio of BCAA tablets. I haven't tried them. Um, but I'm sure that they would be a great product to try if you want BCAAs. The only negative thing about this product is it is $29.77 if you don't do the subscription feature, and that is a little bit pricier for creatine monohydrate at this serving size. What Raw Barrel really um, preaches is they all of their supplements are 100% pharmaceutical grade. I don't have a lab to actually test if that's true, but that's what they market it as. So I'd imagine that is why um, their products may be a little bit, may be priced a little bit higher. Overall, I've, I've been taking the product. I really enjoy it. It mixes well, um, as well as any other creatine I've taken. I don't have any added taste to it, which is what you want because it's a tasteless product. And I've been taking creatine for a couple years now, at least two years, like consistently. And when I started taking this creatine, I didn't notice any changes, which is good because that means that the creatine is doing what it's supposed to be doing. I take, I personally take five grams a day, so I haven't noticed any changes there in my performance or anything that, so that, that tells me that this is real stuff and it's working. So I would definitely recommend this product, especially if you're interested in supplements that don't have any added chemicals, any added fillers. Um, I, I think this, this company, I mean, it's called Raw Barrel. So I, I think they really pride themselves in creating products that don't have all the extra fillers and chemicals that other people might be worried about. So um, definitely check them out. You can check them out on their website, which is rawbarrel.com, or you can go on Amazon and just type in raw barrel and you can find all of their products there. All of their products come with free one day prime shipping. But yeah, it's gonna, that's gonna do it for today. Like I said, I definitely recommend this product. And if you guys liked all that science information, tied in together with creatine, um, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. That'll really help me out. And that'll let me know that you guys want more videos like this. Um, if you guys liked the, the medical school content as well and just the overall fitness content, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And that way you guys will stay updated to what's going on with my fitness and my medical school and all that. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's review and I'll see you guys next time.